broadcasting from various countries around the world using voice over IP technology. This is VoIP Uncovered, a VoIP on Solutions UK podcast. Representing VoIP on, I'm Kathleen Reed. Today we're speaking with Serge Forrest, Sangoma's new VP of Marketing. Thanks for joining us today, Serge. Thank you. It's been an interesting year for Sangoma. In addition to providing traditional voice and data PSTN connectivity, it ramped up its contact center building blocks, which became part of its portfolio following the acquisition of Paraxip in July 2008. As a result, there have been a lot of changes. We're excited to take this opportunity to bring VoIPON's listeners up to speed as to what's happening at Sangoma and what we might expect from them in the future. So, Serge, what would you say has been the most significant development at Sangoma or the most significant developments at Sangoma in 2009? Uh, well, um, the, certainly we, we can see advancements on, on three major fronts. First, on the product side, we've launched uh, award-winning NetBorder Express Gateway 2.0, both on Windows and Linux. We've launched a series of hybrid telephony cards, which are unique in the industry, allow to mix analog and digital telephony interfaces on a single card, uh, very popular in the PBX market. And we've um, de- delivered clustering solutions for SS7 software. So that's on the product front. On the PBX market side, we've had a terrific year announcing many new application partners. The Astra 800 system is uh, now compatible with uh, Sangoma. There's Qdatel, a subsidiary of Barracuda Networks, PBX and SIP, Funcordiax, Dea Alexia, Brekake, a number of, of, of new PBX applications that we're thrilled, and some movement on the Windows-based UC space also. Very, very interesting. That will bear fruit in 2010. And finally, the third point is the contact center business, as you've uh, discussed. We've leveraged the Paraxip portfolio, and we've uh, gained um, – uh, many landmark customers, including some that are running open source with, through our partner Vici Dial, but also uh, through our traditional Paraxip um, uh, channel. Uh, we've announced Teleperformance uh, uh, recently, the largest um, outsourced customer service company in the world as standardized on, on NetBorders. So we're very excited about that. Great. So how have these been received by your channel partners? Well, in general, the channel partners have uh, uh, really benefited for, from um, uh, Sangoma offering a wider, uh, uh, um, a wider spectrum of products and uh, a wider number of, uh, of applications that they can sell. Uh, let me take an example. So, uh, from Cordiax, for instance. Uh, um, uh, out of Europe um, has selected Sangoma and designed a set of, of PBX appliances and started rolling them out this year. And uh, a number of, of channel partners, including Voipon and Voipon's channel, uh, has adopted this solution as well. So we're really thrilled about uh, the fact that uh, a number of applications have been uh, standardizing on, on, on Sangoma and the channels are, are, are taking them up and, and reselling them with success. So what are some of the major case study style successes of the year in terms of where and how Sangoma technology has been implemented around the world? Are there particular stories Voipon's listeners can learn from? Well, I mean, we've really been impressed in 2009 with the scope of uh, certain uh, certain successes that really show the maturity of the technology. Uh, For instance, we had uh, over the last year or 18 months, uh, a 50,000 SIP endpoint deployment uh, in Portugal uh, in the education system. So that's that's very very impressive. No matter what the technology, but it's also based on on some open source projects and some Sangoma hardware. So uh, very exciting. We've also had a number of people using open source as a platform to shrink wrap their. Uh, uh, they're the commercial product around and deploy some some very impressive uh, solutions. For instance, our partner Digivox in Brazil um, uh, has deployed 6,000 IVR ports at Banco de Brazil, so very impressive. And finally, right here in the UK, um, uh, one of the top wireless carriers has, has rolled out NetBorder in production uh, in 2009, so very exciting. Great. So what other changes and new developments at Sangoma do you see coming for 2010? Sangoma's mission is really to make software-based communication applications run more efficiently and more cost-effectively. So in 2010, we'll see uh, more uh, 
activities and, 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 and events to, um, uh, to drive that mission forward. So on the product side, look for significant new releases on the NetBorder product line, uh, emphasis on international features, performance, security, and inter interoperability with, uh, with all sorts of new applications. Also, uh, look for new products to be released to address some uh, IP-only configurations. Um, on the sales and marketing side, certainly 2010 promises to be a very exciting year for our partners in the contact center, unified communication, and open source space. Uh, so we'll look for several announcements and events throughout the year. Great. So what trends have you noticed recently in the telephony market, and how do you see these playing out in the future? We've seen really the open source telephony um, uh, market mature uh, extensively over the last uh, uh, recent past, uh, both in the scale of the um, of the solutions that are being deployed, but also by the number of commercial offerings that have open source uh, underneath as uh, as a base platform. So really glad to see that that. Uh, market taking maturity and, 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 and taking it to the next level, so we can see more of the same uh, in, in, in the coming um, in the coming years. Um, we've also seen uh, that uh, the community and the industry alike have uh, started to embrace free switch as a viable. Uh, alternative to projects based on asterisk. So uh, open source telephony was largely asterisk based uh, up until recently, but FreeSwitch is really taking on with, with Barracuda Net Networks now sponsoring it and, and, and offering a, a very attractive uh, uh, alternative. So we've seen that as well. And finally, we've seen advances in the unified communication Windows-based PBX with um, 3CX, PBX, and Microsoft having very, very uh, uh, solid uh, solutions, both for the small enterprise and for uh, for, for the uh, the Fortune 500 from from the Microsoft perspective with with um, Office Communication Server, and we see uh, those as uh, as having um, um, very good potential to replace uh, legacy uh, systems that are um, that are hardware based. Great. Thanks so much for your time today, Serge, and for answering those questions. That's a wealth of information you've uh, shared with our listeners. Uh, this has been a VoIP on VoIP Uncovered podcast brought to you by VoIP on Solutions. For more information, please visit www.voipon.co.uk.